everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are having a great day today. Today we are going to talk about three signs. Three signs, my friend. I know it could be disappointing for you, but hear me out. Three signs which could indicate that you are uh, you are addicted to social media, and social media, in fact, is making you insecure. Yes. I understand that a lot of us might have some jobs, some creative outlet uh, through social media and we could use it that way. But a lot of us don't use social media constructively. We just use social media as a fidget spinner. We just keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, hoping some content, something, something would, uh, would strike a chord with us, you know, some reel that we would like. And a lot of times when we are scrolling through reels and shots and stuff like that, we're not even paying attention to what they denote of what they're displaying we just are in an inertia of social media scrolling and because of that we see a lot of people's lives whether they are our friends our relatives people that we know in real life people that we can only see on bigger screens or celebrities influencers uh, sports people whatever and it makes us insecure it happens to all of us and it has happened to me so let's talk about three signs why Social media either has made you insecure or is on you are on a journey to become insecure, all right? Number one, I think if you look at other people's lives on social media, especially the people that you know in real life, in your age group, people that you went to school, college with, or you work with, you feel that they have better lives than you and their lives do not have any lacuna, any nothing. Guys, for anyone who has even posted one single thing of social media, you would understand and you would know very well that we all like to put our best foot forward. We only put the cute selfies. We only put the nice photos. We never, never show our crying face. We never talk about times when, you know, when you were let down, when you were crying, when you were in a really difficult phase of your life and you didn't know how to get out. Um, that's why I think I made this channel to, to just talk about things that social media doesn't. So because we see all those glamorous and, and beautiful side of other people's lives, we feel like only our life is trash because obviously we know our insecurities, our woes and everything and their life looks shiny perfect. So if you are comparing your life to people that you know in real life and whatever they choose to show you on Instagram and Facebook or whatever and that is making you feel guilty and sad and, and just the fact that you're not doing enough or that you don't have enough, Social media is probably making you insecure. Sign number two. You look at people taking vacations and you feel like, why am I not on a vacation? There could be a lot of reasons why you could not be on a vacation. You might not have the money. You might not have chutti. You might have a lot of work. You might have a family commitment. And all of those reasons could be justified. And you would still feel that you need a vacation and you want a vacation and the fact that you don't have a vacation and they do it makes you feel inadequate and 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 unfortunate has happened for me for the past two years i haven't even gone to a single city that i hadn't seen before and it really sucks and it really makes me feel like what am i doing in my life why is this my life and i have those realizations i don't even sit down and introspect and try to talk to myself whether I like traveling or not. Do I want to go to Andamans or Lakshadweep or whatever, wherever they are? Probably not. Then why am I spinning on it so much? Why am I thinking about it so much? Just, just, just because I can. Just because I can look at other people vacationing in social media and I feel like if I'm not vacationing in real life, if my life is not on these beautiful beaches or or eating maggie and chai of mountains then my life is not enough and it it is irrespective of what other personal professional achievements i might have number three if you are on the cusp of planning a wedding even even though you're not planning a wedding if you're even if you're a guest you feel like you need to take some instagram worthy outfits Instagram worthy pictures, Instagram worthy caption, Instagram, Instagram. A lot of your inspiration from either being a bride or a groom or a wedding dress guest comes from Instagram or what would look good on Instagram instead of thinking other things, whether things are in your budget or not. Um, do you think this outfit looks good on you in real life or not? Um, what if, what if, that's why a lot of 
people, you know, I talked to them and, you know, I was just brainstorming with my friends. And I said, we need to ask ourselves, what if you go to this wedding or you get married and you don't post a single photo, video, whatever on social media? Will you still feel as happy as you're feeling right now? I think your happiness level is considerably down when you remove the social media equation. I don't say that if you're angry, you should keep it. But your main motivation is not that social media will post it, it will be fun. You're seeking that validation. You're seeking that validation to act as a band-aid to the insecurity that that particular source only has created. Insecurity will also take Instagram, validation will also take Instagram. So your wedding planning is that मुझे कैसे करनी है जैसे मेरी वो वाली दोस्त ने इंस्टाग्राम पे की थी बजट हो ना हो आप उस चीज में बिलीव करते हो या ना करते हो पर हल्दी में बिल्कुल वैसे ही फूल डालेंगे ऊपर से क्योंकि अच्छी फोटो आती अच्छा वीडियो आता अच्छा बूमरैंग आता है मेहंदी में मेहंदी ऐसी लगनी चाहिए मीनिंगफुल हो ना हो रियल लाइफ में कैसी भी लगे फोटो में बढ़िया लगनी चाहिए 10 तरह के रील्स बनाएंगे और मैं नहीं कह रही ये सब करिए इनका भी अलग मजा है इनकी भी अलग क्रिएटिविटी अलग आनंद है but this cannot be your entire this thing, entire inspiration. And if that doesn't happen, if you do get married, everything is perfect. You know, you guys are going to have a lovely, beautiful marriage. You are happy. Everyone is happy. But if you don't get Instagram worthy moments, if it's making you insecure, when you compare your Insta album, your photos, your stories, your reels with other friends and relatives who have just gotten married, you feel like, oh my God, I didn't have an Insta worthy marriage, Insta worthy wedding function. And that is a very toxic trail of thoughts to follow. I always say, invest in your marriage. Don't invest in your wedding. Wedding is just one, two days. Marriage is what is going to sustain you, build you for the next 50, 60 years. And in wedding, there are many different things. You have to be proud of your family, your love, your personalization. That is important. Not Instagram reels. And if it doesn't happen, then after that, you have to be the insecurity of your family. That is an insecurity that's created by social media frenzy. So these were the three signs which if you fulfill, I'm sorry my friend, I think social media day by day, inch by inch is making you a little bit insecure and sorry for you. But don't worry, you're not alone in this. If someone is watching this video and saying that I'm insecure, I don't have all the things with me. Please, where is your charan? Or if your phone is like this, it's not smart, it's not on Instagram, it's not on Instagram, it's not on Instagram. या आपने बहुत ही सेल्फ कंट्रोल की पराकाष्ठा पार कर ली कि आपने इंस्टाग्राम डाउनलोड नहीं किया। If you are using Instagram and you're not insecure by it, hats off to you and I would like to meet you. So comment down below or DM me and tell me how did you like this video and how much can you relate to this video? I'll see you guys in my next one.